What up you guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna talk about why you should buy a 335i. All right, you guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna go over why you should buy a 335i and what makes it such a good car to get and why you should get it and just the reasons behind why I bought mine. The first reason is why I bought a 335i is because of the looks. I love the E92 looks and also the E90. Um, it looks still new in today's age. This is a 2013. They started this body style back in 2007. Um, but people still ask me, hey, what year's your car? It looks brand new. Well, it's not. It's a 2013, and I think it looks brand new. So my first reasoning um, why you should get a 335i is because of the looks. I mean, it looks excellent still. It looks so good in today's day, and it's a seven-year-old car, eight-year-old car, almost eight-year-old, seven-year-old, whatever. It's like over five years old, and it looks brand new still. So my first reason is you should definitely get it because of the looks. Another thing that's insane on these 335i's you can get for so cheap now is the interiors. Check this out. This interior still looks brand new in today's date. Like I see cars that are 2019 that still don't look this good in the interior. I got iDrive, I have all my instruments here, brand new paddle shifters, I mean the feeling looks, feels brand new. These great sports seats that come with the M Performance package. It's insane the quality you get for what the price you pay for these cars. Now coming inside the car, BMWs depreciate like no other car brand in the game. This thing depreciates like crazy. Not like a Toyota 4Runner which holds its value very well. BMWs depreciate. I bought this car for $21,000 about a year ago and seriously, it feels like a brand new car, for real. I showed you guys the interior, it looks insane. I showed you some of the exterior bits, especially with the edit I just did of the car a little bit ago. This thing looks insanely good for $21,000 and you could pick up an older generation E92 with the same exact body for like eight grand. Seriously, a guy DM me and say, hey, what looks good in today's date and get for under 20 grand? That's four doors. And I said an E90 335i because what other car would you recommend that can push this much power, it looks this good, that depreciates this much. So if you look for a 335i, take advantage of its depreciation rate. Seriously, it's insane. Another reason why you guys should consider buying a 335i is because of the power it can push for the money. As my previous video I said about the power, as you'll see in this card right here, you guys can go check out my last video, but the power that this thing could push for the money is absolutely insane. I push about 450 to 475 on ethanol to the wheels for about $1,500. Like literally, what other car are you gonna get that with? Definitely a big thing is the power with this thing is insane. As I was saying before this guy randomly walked through my clip, even though I'm in the middle of the empty ass parking lot, you can go somewhere else, but whatever. Um, as I was saying, the power is insane with this thing. You can just throw down pipes on for a couple hundred bucks, an MHC tune for a couple hundred bucks. You can even just do that, just that. And you can still push insane power. That's awesome. So definitely consider the power things you can get with this car or keep it stock. It comes with 300 horsepower stock and it's still a boatload of fun to drive. Something that you can't see on the car is the bottom end of this engine is actually forged. It's forged. Like, no other car comes with a forged, I mean, don't say that in the comments, don't explode on me. A lot of other cars probably come with forged bottom ends, but seriously, for the price, for under 20 grand forged bottom end, that's insane. Like seriously, some people take, they don't really look at, oh wow, it's forged, whatever. That's a big deal. If you wanna build this motor, that's a big deal. So another reason is this thing's forged. Also, the modding options for this thing. There are hundreds of thousands of different modifications you can do to this car, such as the trunk. You can get this carbon spoiler I have here or a carbon trunk or a hundred different options just for the trunk. 
Diffusers, there's a million options for diffusers. Uh, wheels, like every car, there's a lot of wheel options. You can go TE37s, Apex Arcades, whatever you desire, really, seriously. Um, also, side skirts, M3 side skirts, Amuse side skirts. You can just get side skirt extensions like I have, which is definitely a good deal. Um, front splitters, I've had a, few, a lot of people ask me what my front splitter is. It's diffusers and more on Instagram. Um, also, you can buy carbon ones. There's like tons of different splitters, eBay ones, just all kinds of options. Um, same with the grills, you can buy just glossy black grills or you can just get M3 style grills or stock grills. Um, you can get M colored grills. There's so many different types of grills you can get. And same with the in engine. There's so many different ways you can go. You can go big turbo kit, you can go just bolt-ons, you can go ethanol, meth injection. There's so many different engine stuff you can get for this car. It's insane. So definitely, take and consider the modding ability of this car. Some other cars that you can't really mod that well, or there's not many options, but with this thing, there's countless options. That's why I kind of picked it up as well. There's so many options you can mod. It's absolutely insane. So definitely, if you're looking for one of these, you're gonna mod it, definitely take advantage of modding it. One other thing is, this engine sounds insane. The N55 and N54 engines sound like fighter jets. I'm not gonna rev mine right now because I'm in a at a church, but seriously, these engines sound insane. That's why they call it the German 2JZ. I mean, it can handle so much power, so much boost, it's insane. The N54, the previous model of this car, which is even cheaper than mine, can handle like 900 to the wheels on a stock engine. Like that's, that's absolutely absurd. And it sounds like a fighter jet. So there's a reason why they call it a German 2JZ. And that's probably the reason why. It's amazing. Coming back in the car, there's something I wanted to talk about. I had a 370Z as in my previous car to this. And it was the countless downpipe, same exhaust setup as this kind of. Um, and it was so rowdy. Even if you're just cruising on the freeway, it was so rowdy, so annoying. But with this car, you can downshift, like three downshifts, and be rowdy when you want it to be. Or if you put it in sixth gear and just cruise in the freeway, shut your windows, listen to some music, or no music, you're not going to hear a thing. BMW is very good with the installation, and I can't hear nothing. My friends are like, dude, your exhaust is so freaking loud. And I'm like, I can barely hear it in sixth gear with my windows rolled up. So the installation is good. Just remember that if you don't want to be rowdy all the time, you can just cruise in this car. It's totally easily done with a 335i. And the big question that everyone's probably thinking in their head is, oh, Ricky, they're so freaking cheap because they're so damn unreliable. BMW sucks, they're so unreliable. That's so false. I have had zero issues with this car. Yeah, I have videos on my YouTube saying, oh, broken BMW. That's my fault. I blew my charge pipe. I had an oil leak. That's my fault. That's, everything is done with me. But if you want to get this car stock, it's a dream. I've had three BMWs, and none of them really have had huge issues. Seriously, they're not as unreliable as people say. So, I mean, pick up one of these cars for that cheap and have a one little thing go wrong, that's no big deal. It's just like any other car. It's not unreliable. Don't believe people when saying, oh, they're so unreliable. I've had people DM me being like, I'm afraid to get one because, you know, my parents say they're unreliable and I don't know. Dude, that's so false. Buy a damn BMW. They're not unreliable. They're called the whatever, the ultimate driving machine for a reason. They're great cars, I highly recommend them. And yeah, buy one, seriously. They're amazing cars, you will not regret it. And just like that, today's video is effectively over, but I know I've done a few videos of me just talking to the camera about my car and all this stuff. I got vlogs coming, I have a lot of new parts coming. Um, I just wanna get this video out there, because I've had a lot of people actually DM me saying, hey, this and this, what do you think about getting a BMW? Honestly, in my opinion, they're great cars. I highly recommend it, for, especially for the money. It's insane. But like that, I have so many mods coming for this. I actually have new set of wheels coming. Yeah. They should be in about two weeks. New set of wheels. That's, that's going to be a fun video. Um, also, I have a track day coming up at Laguna Seca with a friend of mine. That should be awesome. I can't wait to get some GoPro footage of that and make a vlog of that. That should be sweet. Um, I have a lot of stuff planned for this car. As I mentioned in the last video, I this thing's going to be look completely different here in about two months or so. So please stay tuned. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I've noticed that 75% or so people that watch my videos aren't even subscribed. Please go down there, subscribe. But just like that, this video is over and I'll see you guys in the next one.